Welcome to Pavli guys and in this video I am going to solve another problem with the help of automation and the problem is how to get your contract agreements signed from your customers or clients automatically. So guys here we are using two applications one is high level application which is a CRM and marketing tool for agencies and another one is signaturely. So guys. Uh, we have created a form with the help of high level application and we are connecting high level application with signaturely in such a way that uh, as and when your customer fill that form which is a kind of service request form a contract will be mailed to that customer to get signed automatically via signaturely application so we are taking e-signatures uh, actually here so let me show you how this automation is going to look like. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation. Here we are using high level application, which is a, a marketing CRM. And here we have created a kind of contract or service request form for our customer. And as and when this form is going to submit it, a uh, signing request or contract will get automatically generated and delivered to that customer automatically via signaturely application. So guys, signaturely is a cloud-based e-solution, e-signature solution provider by which you can collect approvals and electronic signatures on any legal documents. Okay, so this is going to happen automatically. So you do not have to manually create contracts and e-signature approvals for your customer. So this will surely save a lot of your time and energy and it will improve your productivity and streamline this whole process. And to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is you can set up this automation without any coding skill in just few simple steps. So guys, let's set up this automation together. So to start setting up the automation, you need to reach here on the dashboard of Pavli Connect guys. And to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. You can find it in the description also from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you'll get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in and you will reach this dashboard. And guys, here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So just click here on this create workflow button and here you can provide any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as e signature automation okay so you can give any name according to yourself okay now you can just click on create and you can see your workflow page is loading here and here you will see these two things the trigger and the action so automation work on these two things so the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger as in our use case the trigger would be form submission of a service request received from high level application and the action towards that trigger would be to send the signing contract to that customer okay so first of all you need to set up this trigger here so from this uh, uh, choose app field you have to choose the trigger application which is high level in our case so search for high level this is it select it and the trigger event would be form submitted okay so you'll find this form submitted option here so it will trigger when a form is submitted okay and it will give you this url which is called as a webhook url so with the help of this webhook url we are going to make a connection with high level application such that when the form gets submitted the response will be received here so after making the connection we are going to capture a demo or a test form submission from high level and with the help of that test data we are going to move forward so uh, you need to follow these instructions return here to make this connection let me show you how exactly you can make this connection so uh, let me show you my high level applications dashboard this is it here i have selected the agency account as uh, this aria associates okay select the agency account under that you will find this triggers option on the bottom left hand side click on triggers under the trigger section you have to add a new trigger by clicking on this add trigger option now give a name to this trigger so i am giving the name as uh, e-signature let's say then click on save okay 
and here it is asking what should trigger this rule so here you have to select the triggers available here under this field just click here and you will find all the options from here select this form submitted so it will runs when a form is submitted okay and now you can see the arrow about the action what action should be performed so here you have to add an action click on add action and from this action field you have to select execute webhook option this is it execute webhook and it will uh, give you this field under this field you have to paste the webhook url that you got here just copy this webhook url and paste it here under this webhook url field like this okay then click oh sorry so guys uh, we are done here and from this actions sorry here you will find this draft button first of all activate this action trigger an action click on active okay and click on save and we are done here okay so we have saved a new webhook connection here name is e-signature okay now guys uh, you can see in the workflow here as i have copied this webhook url it started showing this waiting for the webhook's response so this means now you have to perform a test submission this means we are going to capture the response from the form submission and that will act as a demo or a test form submission so guys the test submission would be same would be the same as the trigger event so now you have to submit a form okay so we are going to uh, open the form which is this and I'm going to fill some test details this is not our actual customer we are just going to fill the test details as this Ricky saying let the name be as a test customer this is the email address let this be the phone number And here you can see we have this services section and here uh, the agency who have created this form is supplying these kind of services electricity water supply building garbage so you can select the services on the behalf of the demo customer I'm selecting water supply and I'm going to submit this form okay so you can see the form is getting submitted here and the form is submitted now let's check in our workflow if we got the data of this test submission or not so here you can see in the response received section we got the details of a test submission as this the services selected is this the first name of the customer the last name the email the number the country the agency details are also here and we have all the details related to the form submission captured here in this response okay guys now what we want we want to send same send this customer a contract to get it signed from the customer for that to happen we are going to use this action step and from here I am going to use signature Lee application to auto generate a contract to get it signed. This is signature Lee selected and in the action event you have to select uh, create signing request with line items so it will create a new signing request for, or for your document okay. After that click on this connect button and from here you have to select this add new connection option and then it will ask for the API key to make the connection with signature Lee application so guys you need to follow these instructions you need to reach the settings section of uh, your signature Lee account and there you'll find this API key so guys this is my signature Lee applications dashboard and here you can see I have this settings option here on the left hand side click on settings and here I have this API option click on API all right now here you have to create a api key by clicking on this create api key button now you can uh, give a name to this key so i'm giving the name as from high level you can give any name okay then click on create api and this is the key just copy this api key come back to your workflow paste it here like this and then click on save and you can see we are connected with signature Lee. Now it is asking for the document's title so the document the contract that you are creating you can give any suitable name to that uh, document so I am giving the name as uh, new contract for so if you want to have a unique name for each contract you can map something from the above step here you can see we have received uh, this uh, test data from high level application and here we have received 
the services also so you can map this services label here or you can map the name of the customer if you want to create the document title with on the name of the customer okay so i am mapping the name here so by clicking here you will find this high level applications step in the drop down and by clicking on it you will get all the data that you have received in the first step so i am mapping the full name label here so document title would be like this new contract for this person and in the message you can uh, fill a standard message for a, every customer of yours so i am putting the message here please sign this document to avail our services <clears throat> okay this is a kind of message you can enter and in the template id you have to uh, put the id of the document template that you have created in signaturely application so as in signaturely you need to create standard document templates for every customer of yours so you can create that uh, from this template section okay from here you can create the document template here i have already created one you can see this maintenance agreement template so from here let me show you i'm clicking on add it and this is a document that is loading here you can see and you can notice in the top search bar i have this string of numbers and uh, alphabets so this is the template id that we needed so uh, from this slash just started copy the string of numbers and uh, digits just copy it till here like this and paste this here in the template id field like this okay so this is our template id signers role you can enter the signers ro signers role you can pass comma separated values also so what is the signers role it is a client or an employee you can put it here so our signers role is a client so i'm putting here client okay signers name here i am going to map the data that i have received from the first step so you will find this name label label here map it like this signers email you will get from the first step this is the signers email okay and we are in the test mode so i am making it true uh, if you are in the live mode you can make it false and use this process in the live mode also right now let's check uh, if this working or not i'm going to click on save and send test request and a mail del will be delivered to this email id and i have access to this email account i'm going to show you how the mail will look like so guys before clicking on save and send test request let me tell you a few things here which i forgot to tell you here you can see we have two roles for the signers one role is for the client who is going to sign and after getting getting it signed from the client the contractor is also have to sign the same contract okay so you can see in signature lee we have two roles in the template the first is client and the contractor so you have to put both of the roles here in the signers role and in the signers name also you have to put the name of both of the persons the client and the contractor and the email of the both persons also the client and the email address of the contractor so signaturely will deliver the signing contract to both of the client as well as the contractor okay so they both have to sign the same document okay now let me click on save and send test request and let's see what happens and here you can see it is showing in the response new contract for ricky singh has prepared and it is delivered okay let me show you in the email section of our client if we got a new email so so this is the email id of the client and here you can see we have received a new email and that subject is new contract for ricky singh okay probably requested your signature and here you can see we have this uh, symbol review and sign by clicking on it the client can see the contract like this it is loading up here so this is the contract okay and he can read the contract and sign the contract in these fields okay so by clicking on start signing our client can sign these contracts okay like this 
here in this field he can create new initials and sign this contract so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation so guys here you can see we have connected high level application in the trigger with the help of these instruction we made the connection and capture the test response like this after that i connected signaturely application in the action step so that we can auto create the contracts for our clients and the contractor and here i have mapped the data like this so when you map the data like this what will happen in real time whenever you receive any request from the client this data is going to change accordingly and a new contract will be created for the new client automatically okay so you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually here after that it is going to run automatically and the best part is you can use this same workflow that i have created because i am going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel